Ooh, no. <sighs> okay. We're sounding people. I mean, I want to move back. Right. <clears throat> Hi, everyone. I mean, hotel. Hotel. Let me hear Joe about your house being haunted. I mean, Rob Lips's house. It's pleasant, man. It's like, I think someone's been around and cleaned because. I do. I don't believe that you can upkeep this level of cleanliness. And I hygiene. did make that of an effort yeah. when I heard the today. I've seen over. this guy in Ibiza and it didn't look like this. <laughs> um, we're, ho we're over here for a summit. Right. This light, by the way, I'm, I'm actually not quite that, that pasty. I haven't been in Ireland that long. Um, this is just harsh downlight coming in from a Velux window. We knew. Anyway, we're in Ireland for Rob's Creator Agency. Summit, which is just a collection of creators talking about some shit, so that's why we're here. So we'll show you, we'll show you some stuff. Also, we got Elder Bro on deck. On deck, mate. Look at this outfit. What protein bar did you go for? Took it ages putting it together. It looks by the wrapper like a cookie dough. This is cookie dough. Oh, you didn't. Just by the kind of surgery. The one I was fucking looking forward to. You said you the most. The Milky Way. Oh man. my god! Like uh, you're here a day already. Oh, I'd go man. like. Nah, enjoy it, man. Looks fucking secret. This guy. Secret fume. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah. All right. Anyway, let's you head to the fridge the and check out the selection of monsters now. Whoa. This is luxury. If you ever fucking saw it, come on. Yeah. Look at that shit. I think I'm gonna go for a black one because I'm always going for white and I need to balance out the yin and yang. Oh my god. Are we rolling yet? Yeah. yeah. Let me lick my lips. We've got innocent. we got shit on my lips, man. He's going in and out of focus. Sorry, it's fine. It's edgy, man. <laughs> it's just edgy floating in and out, man. It's all right, good. all right. The camera's going to turn to your face. We're in. Focus. Does it recognize my face as our face? It does, yeah. <clears throat> this is a face. We're in. The Radisson? That's it. We're in the Radisson, which is the location for the Creator Agency Summit, held by and featuring your host, Rob Lipson. Oh! oh boy. boy. <laughs> That's how he's walking on stage in a bit. Yeah. <laughs> so, people started right. to come in, and uh, I think, I mean, I'm just going to like say aye to everyone pretty much, just be funny and that. That's what I do, isn't it? So. Uh, let's show you the actual room where the event is because it's cool. Like, Take like away official and shit. Yeah, yeah. This is a summit. So we've got chairs. People are gonna sit on those. That's what that's what happens. People sit here, face here, and I go. Get told. Stuff. What are you that? gonna say? What are you gonna, gonna tell them? Listen, everyone. What's your message? The message is just be a sick guy. How do you create? Well, just like that. How do you create content, just right? Be a sick guy. How do you create content, right? Well, it starts with being a sick guy, but it might actually start with not being a sick guy. Yeah. And you have to go from not being a sick guy to being a sick so guy. So should you still make content if you're you can't, on the way? To you can't more. pretend. I think that's important. You could because journey, it could man. you could document the transformative journey mm. between not sick guy and sick key. guy. I think it's key. Do you know key. what I mean? Um, but then again, you have to bear in mind the other value. Enough. The of what do people want to watch? Now, if you're like right in the depths of not sick guy down here, and like you know, you like fry your eggs in like this pan that's all fucked up and that. Yeah, you, know you like, need tons of oil. If it's like an, un an unattractive pan and it takes like half the egg off. Yeah. That's the kind of thing that people don't want to watch on. The do you know what I mean? Of, yeah. Like, if like in the background there's like cat hair on like your sofa, it's just not an attractive thing, man. You know what I'm saying? So there has to be some kind of aspirational element. This is why you show the transformation after the transformation sometimes, because no one wants to see you being a bum, man. You know, it's all right if you up there and then you fall from grace and then build back up again. That's just, that's just the journey. But, um, you know, just like, that's it, man. Just be, just be cool, is the, be cool in one way or another. Be you know cool. I mean? That's the key message to take home. Be cool. Is take the key. Home key message is be cool. Be cool, like the shape of these water bottles. Look be at cool. Them. This water, this Elements. water bottle represents flow. Right. The nature of the shape. There are no sharp. There are no sharp edges or corners or, you know, indents. Not like that one. That's a more extreme, extreme gradient. This is a, the slow, gradual gradient towards success. Mm. Towards being a cool guy. Yeah. I don't know what I fucking said, but I'm just gonna right. say something like that. Yeah, sit. Okay, I think that should go down well. 
You got your ear off eight mile, lad. I'm gonna start preaching. I'm gonna start preaching and like healing people, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pay someone in the crowd 20 euro to like be possessed by you and shit. That's what I'm gonna do. Right, right. Out. Yeah, out. We work together. I think it's really important when you get to a certain level with your brand that you do need to get other people on board. And I think family is a great place to start. Family is best friends. Um, and how I. How we it's a bit far and it feels like it's from another person. So practicing, like outside of the. Yes, to you. Do it. Do you. Super zoom on that head. I think it sums it up that we are going or gone over time. Uh, I, I just think, like, I think no one wants it to end. I don't want it to end. And even the, the guest speakers, they're like, hey, you know, I'll stay a little bit longer if you want. So I want I'll to give. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be the comedy section. But um, so again, none of this would have been possible without you guys and the crowd. I can feel the energy from you, so I want to give give yourselves a round of applause. Too. <laughs> Who here knows the Delaney Brothers? <laughs> Alright, we're doing it. So uh, what I'll do? We're gonna leave. I think most of the time open to Q and A because I think that's easier. It also means I don't have to prepare a speech. Um, it's better, we can just bounce off each other, it'd be loads of fun. So, before that, I'll just like introduce us a little bit and um, I suppose I said to Rob, Man, I'm speaking of this thing, he said, Yeah, you are, and said, Alright, okay. So, he said, he said, Just prepare a brief, who are you? And I think, I suppose these days, if you ask someone, Who are you? It essentially means what do you do for a living, in a way, doesn't it? That's the answer you get if you're at a party. Do you know what I mean? What, what do you do to, you know, put the turkey dinosaurs on the table? So, so I guess in that sense, in that sense, I'm a YouTuber and, a, and a, an online personal trainer. But I suppose a little bit deeper than that, I'm just I don't feel that doesn't feel like me. I feel like just someone who just simply. Just trying to have a good time, just like, because that's all we want, right? Cause yeah! Can, can we actually applaud that? Like? <laughs> so, so that's really how I fell into YouTubing, just through really a desire to entertain myself. So I suppose it's less noble reasons than a lot of people, right? Because I didn't think, you know what? All these lads in Dublin, I would help them get in better shape. I mean, I would like that to be a happy coincidence, a happy consequence of it. That would be great. That would be great, but it wasn't my idea in the beginning. I was just a, you know, my kind of selfish adolescent brain wasn't, let's go and help a load of people. It was simply, let's just lead a life that's like a little bit interesting. And, you know, because my biggest fear apart from sharks like and bad eyebrows <laughs> is being bored, right? No one wants to be bored. And so I suppose that kind of desire to just entertain myself manifested in my videos somewhat. So it's not if you look at my top three viewed videos, it's an Ibiza vlog with it's the antithesis of fitness. That is not fitness. You know, there's one fitness video and there's a Tinder tutorial. <laughs> Like, well, what's it called again? From Tinder to bed? No, no, that's a different one. That's an example. Of, <laughs> that's an example of implementing the theories. You know what I mean? I like to back it up. Anyway, um, and and so that's what kind of led me into, um, I suppose, the word of the day, which is which is creating. You know, um, it's simply because, just because it feels good. And I was trying to think, like, why, why does it feel good to, to, maybe we should define semantics because, you know, you could technically have to create anything, right? Technically I made a sandwich last night, but I didn't create, do you know what I mean? It wasn't a creative process. I mixed a bit of turkey and some lettuce. It wasn't that creative, do you know what I mean? So, by create, I mean, I mean kind of make something start to finish that has a bit of you in it, right? And I think that's probably, one of the most rewarding things you can do, whether it, whether it is a hobby or a job, because it gives you a sense of, of maybe like being an individual. Something is an individualism kind of feeling, because you know, nowadays there's, 
Seven and a half billion people, man. And life is so structured. And it's not the same. It's not easy to feel like, you know, you can feel like just a part of a machine. And I'm just going along, going through the motions, you know what I mean? And I think, so creating something in that, in that kind of aspect is, is just what made me feel like, you know, when you're a kid and your mum says, hey Joe, you're special. And you actually believe it, man. You think you're different, right? And then you get to school and you're like, who are all these other kids? They've got the same trainers as me. You know, and so I think creating something that makes you feel that kind of an element of like maybe something like a little bit different, and I, and I think that that's something that we have to feel right because um, I mean, I suppose going back to what Gaz was saying in the last, you know, part of your mental well being is trying to feel like you are an individual, right? And I suppose that's really what, what made me get into YouTube. Um, Back in the day, we started out on Facebook actually with that with with no notion that we would ever make you know a penny out of it. It was it was purely because we thought we were funny, right? Me and him made videos. There's one called Eating Motivation, right? <laughs> and it's just a piss take of like fitness stuff because we thought it was funny. So we're like, there's all these like overly done cheesy motivational videos, right? But they're all to do with training. So we're gonna film ourselves like motivating each other to like eat stupid shit and I was like slamming cake in his face and like we were like covered in milk it was like way way too erotic it <laughs> shouldn't be like that but the point is it was just raw it was just people having fun um, I actually did something creative it's, like, it's actually a quality video man I want to shit that shit out yeah. um, she got a lot of views in them yeah we did alright man that's when we were funny and then I suppose it, it just evolved into something that actually you know you can do this, you can make money out of this, not pouring milk on yourself and starting to play I mean, I'm sure you can, but that's a weird CD world that I don't want to get into that. <laughs> I'm basically in that yeah, with yeah, yeah, yeah. videos. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you are into that, yeah, yeah. Um, and then all the all the other kind of kind of happy consequences came of, you know, the 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 maybe you do impact people eventually. You know, but that should always be a sideshow to, to doing your thing. And I think that if you go into it with the idea of, you know, I want to motivate this person, you concentrate it too much on, on being someone who's, it's a bit too egotistical, if you know what I mean, because you're concentrating on being someone who people look up to rather than doing your own thing and then eventually that may come if you do well enough in whatever you do, do you know what I mean? If you pour enough milk over yourself one day, someone might think it's motivational. <laughs> Um, and I suppose now we're here, so that's how I ended up here, that's why I fucking love YouTube and it's led me to like speak to people and meet people which is great, so hi everyone, I'm Joe. <laughs>
And if you're feeling shit day after day after day, address what it is that's making you feel shit. You know, because if you try and and put something on and be a, a different person to how you're feeling in the video, people are receptive. People are, will see straight through that, you know, and it will just come off as fake. You cannot, it, it's kind of cheesy, but you cannot be like anyone else than how you feel. Now, of course, you can do things to make yourself feel better so that then you don't have to, you know, pretend. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and so, you know, yeah, I, I'm a very positive guy, but like, don't think for a second that I'm literally 100% happy all the time, completely normal. Of course, I have down days, but I am good at just like switching them around. And one thing is, I look at my channel or my pages as, as a place, like kind of like a physical place. So, like, if you actually go to my YouTube channel, like, even the comments are quite supportive. Like, there's actually people replying to each other, you know, saying nice stuff, and like, it's just a nice little community place, and there's a good vibe to it. If I came on camera just like crying into a bowl of beans, you know, I, I literally it would create a bad I'm just selling the beans, man. Yeah. <laughs> like beans. beans. Yeah, <laughs> poverty beans. Um, but so again, if I just created a bad place for that channel, there'd be a bad vibe to it. So obviously, if I am having a bad day, I just switch it around, and I'm just like, okay, you know, I'm still gonna make a, a sick video today. Um, so I, I don't think it's really like it's it's not you being dishonest. It's you making good content, you know. <laughs> Will you re-record a video doing the motivational drop? Uh, see, I, I think about eating videos, and I feel like. It's like when the time's right. Do you know what I mean? I don't want to for I don't want to force myself into like I I think that if I was sat on my own in my apartment with like eight packs of Haribo around me and a camera in front of me, I would have a real question of what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> yeah, and like, obviously Rob can reconcile that, but I don't know if I'm okay with that psychologically. Um, it was way too cool. Maybe one day, you know, I don't know. I I thought about like ten k challenges and shit like that, but. At the end of the day, I don't want, like, I just, it's not that I'm above it, I, I just don't want to eat the kind of foods that you have to eat to get that in, just because, personally, it's just not to my taste, it's not like I'm, I never eat healthy shit or whatever, it's just not to my taste, so I feel like I was, like, selling my soul to the devil, do you know what I mean? I, 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 on the other hand, have no such scruples, and I've been trying to pressure him into it for several yeah, months, yeah. <laughs> it's still not work. But I was thinking, right, maybe I'd do, like, a clean version, and, like, but then, no one gives a shit about that. No one wants to watch that. You don't want to watch me eat a shitload of guacamole. No, no, no. That's what I'm going to have to eat to get those cows in, man. Uh, and there's also no, like, one. everyone has their own kind of like, you know, content that they're suited to. And it goes back into like being something you're not. Like, you know, if I like started using old Joe's like colloquialisms and like just taking it. Yeah, yes, yeah, yes, no. Uh, if it started, you know, just trying to copy your style, it'd be like, you know, it just wouldn't suit me. And um, like, so like, I'm so uncool that I'm cool. Whereas Joe is just straight up cool, questionable, I know. But um, so again, you know, it's kind of just like, you have to play to your own style. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, what's the advantages and disadvantages to having a YouTube channel? Advantages and disadvantages to having a YouTube channel. I mean, one is free shit. <laughs> <laughs> free shit is the theme of the day. <laughs> yeah. Essentially, the best thing is, 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 I mean, it's like Rob said, like today, it is sound to speak to people who get what you say and kind of resonate with, you know, your mentality because otherwise, you know, Shit could be lonely, man. You need to be understood. That is what, that's a true human need, man. You need to be understood. And like, half, half the time you can just be messing about and it can all be for a joke, but it's good to know that people actually get what you're saying when you do get serious, you know. Um, the disadvantage is, I think if you approach it in the right way, they don't have to be disadvantages as much as just things that you learn from in terms of like, you know, you have to take criticism objectively. So sometimes it might be, someone might be, you know, just hating on you for the sake of hating on you. Sometimes you might be being a dick. That's okay, man. But you have to be at least kind of humble enough to see that. Um, and so, whereas people might say, like, the negativity, you get negativity as a, I don't think it's a negative point. It's just something that you have to, you know, be able to sift through and choose what is valid and what isn't valid and that's just another transferable skill for because how often in life do you have to decide you have to you know 
scrounge through the through the kind of ambiguousness and, and decide what is relevant to you and what isn't. You know, I don't think there's that many disadvantages really. Yeah, uh, so the advantages are money, um, you know, you get out what you put in, uh, the freedom, you can literally throw a camera in a bag, go wherever you want, that's your work, okay? Uh, so that, that, that for me is a huge factor. Um, and then again, what you get is what you receive back. So let's say you're working for someone else and you work overtime or you just put in a little bit of extra effort in work. You just get paid the same, just get rewarded the same. But if you really get creative with your content, maybe upload a couple more videos that month and just put in some extra work, you'll see that coming directly back to you. So it's, it's nice to have that. And then disadvantages, um, of course there's a few, there can be a lot of pressure. Um, so just, And even if you make any decision, you've got so many people judging you. And so it's important to try, try and separate yourself from that and ultimately not care. That's it. P people think that they know your situation better than you do. Because it's easy to judge when they only take in small amounts of information about it, i.e. what you put online. Yeah. Now, it's easy to make a decision with small, with very few you know, variables, but you are the only one living your life and you have to, well, hopefully you know best. And so, obviously, you have to just kind of maintain a kind of resoluteness in your opinions, your decisions on what to do. You know, so well. and, and you can also say, so that disadvantage that I named there, if like, you know, people judging you and you know, people giving you a hard time for something, it, in a sense, it, it's grand. Like, it kind of makes you a better person. Like, it just makes you not care. Like, later now, I'm just like, hate online, and hate the person, I think, just like, all right, say all right, whatever, cool. So it, it kind of does make, gives you a hard skin. Uh, yep, yeah, right like there. You're obviously all a massive inspiration to us. Oh, thanks, bro. Who's, who's your inspiration when you were 18? Yeah, uh, that, who, who's our inspirations? Um, it's so hard to even like think of one individual, you know, to put it back to. But I remember I was just watching just a tons of other guys on YouTube just living the life that I wanted to live. And I was just like, oh, I want to do that. You know, so just just took a little bit of inspiration from that. When I was into YouTube and fitness, YouTube when I started making videos, it wasn't, you know, because we started making videos when Facebook was easy to kind of build a following on, which was, you know, before there was real like some of the OG YouTubers had started, but I wasn't really into watching that with YouTube, YouTube. So um, I suppose I could just echo what Rob said in, in the sense of I just. I'm just a guy who gets bored easy and I just wanted something that was going to spike my curiosity and just keep me entertained. And uh, if for anyone who doesn't know, Joe actually used to work full time at a bank. Yeah. Was it, imagine walking up to the till and seeing this and handing him your money. I literally was just like, what? I didn't work in a bank, I worked for a bank in an office, so I wasn't like a teller that counted shit. Still strange. It was still like, there was no vibes like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In terms of people like trying to find out who they are as a person, like, I don't know anybody who's more themselves than usual. It's like, what would you tell younger people who want to be the, like they aspire to be the idols? In terms, of that's not really what they should do. Like, what advice would you give them people in terms of being themselves, not necessarily their idol? Yeah, you mean like in terms of developing your own persona yeah, so rather than piggybacking and, and doing. Person. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's hard, right? Because there's this sense of idolization. Yeah. So it's hard because obviously we all have role models and you see people who you like and then you naturally gr gravitate towards doing things how they do them, right? And it's a, it's a difficult one, but I mean, I suppose the key point is that nobody should be followed, you know, off the edge of a cliff kind of thing. And, and hopefully the people that you follow are at least grounded enough to try and curb that to some extent and come across as someone who doesn't have the answers to everything, actually, you know, is just trying to get by and is and still like is just as in unsure of themselves as anybody else, right? Because this is the, the everyone would like to be this complete person, right? And it's like you don't want any loose ends, and if there's anything you're unsure about in your brain, it feels like a loose end, and you have to tie it up so that you can be this ultimately self-assured person and you know your opinion on everything and it's so strong you know but nobody is like that right and so it, it, it's kind of a, a bit of an illusion to try and get to that point yeah, so. what, question would, what personality trait would you all take from each other what personality trait would we all take from each other <laughs>
Okay. Um, uh, probably Joe's just entire approach to life is great. <laughs> just uh, yeah, completely. just general Joe. Give me, give me whatever Joe's having. Uh, but no, I, I definitely think Joe can truly be present to the moment. Uh, I'm not sure if that's something that you guys are familiar with. Uh, it's basically cool, cool slang, cool fancy words saying not giving a fuck. Um, present to the moment, he kind of just lives life day by day. And um, it's something that I, I, I could definitely need to do myself and, you know, take, take it easy. Um, I mean, I suppose I agree with that to an extent, but obviously I don't want to... There are advantages and disadvantages to, you know, I'm not living saying, like that. I'm not saying so, not so really so future. So I, think, I think both, I think Rob, in terms of, like, that's a work ethic I can't even fucking imagine. Man, do you know what I mean? This guy's busy. Yeah. And I suppose it comes down to like maybe <laughs> you, do you know what I mean? Like <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I think we spoke once, and I was and we were saying like somewhere in somewhere in the middle, there's probably a sick guy, man. Do you know what I mean? This is a sick guy sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> like you can always take bits from everything. It's Mike has a history in in the military, and he's so much more like kind of methodical than I am in a in a in a really like will. Even, I feel like he's just hardened to things that I am, I am, like, everything's just not an issue to him, whereas, to, whereas, I can kind of, I'm like, fuck, it's cold, and he's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about, it's not cold. Don't admit that it's cold. Don't recognise that it's cold. Do you know what I mean? Like, things like that, they're, I mean, they're, they're I like, just get on with it. Let's like. face it, if we could all take bits of each other, we could create a superhuman, that'd be sick. Yeah. I would probably take from Rob his industriousness, obviously how hard he works, and because uh, again I can't imagine that work ethic from me. From Joe, I would probably take his self assuredness because again I don't know where he gets it from. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it's backed up by a big sick guy, I mean. <laughs> uh, I think that is probably the perfect question to finish today on, guys. Me and Joe are actually going to do me, and Mariah, and Joe, everyone, like, yeah, there's going to be a big crew for us there. Yeah, yeah. So. We're creating, bros. We're creating. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Here, enjoy. We so get, much uh, creating going on. Going on right? Infinite creating. Yeah. Uh, nah, just take it, man. You don't have to refill it. You got, yeah, put your arm around me. You look like you love it. What's happening, people? We are wrapped up. It was a, it was, I think it was a success by every measure. It seemed cool. Everyone seems to enjoy themselves. I did. Rob definitely did. And I want to go eat, so we'll do that. Next up, food. Let's get food. How'd it go? It went far better than I actually imagined it going, and uh, I'm delighted. I'm feeling a sense of fulfillment. And speaker of the day had to be Joe D, man. The vibes, the vibes are next chain, level. The vibes are next Let's level. Do it. I was born Oh my god, look at the nachos! Yo, everyone happy? Thank you all for being my friends. I love you all. Alright, peeps, we are here. We got some. We just got food. I'm not gonna go through it. It's just food, mate. It's Mexican food. The point is, it looks great. I'm gonna get it inside me. Me too. What? 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 Wait, what? Uh, maybe some. Is that coconut over there? Yeah, it is. I'll take some coconut, please. Yeah. Okay. So this is a. That's a regular. So oh, regular. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, how's it going? Where's <laughs> Juana? Anyway, mate. I tried to make it. Wanted some texture. That looks really good. <laughs> Happy people. One here on the table, one here. Yeah. What's happening, people? I need to move back again, misjudged it. Glasses, man. Hey, glasses, glasses. Unpaid. 
Not a, hashtag not ad. Shout out to whoever the woman was who came up to us at the end of the thing and gave us these glasses. It's uh, like take away the blue Amber. light or something. Amber. Amber, apparently. Yeah. Shout out to them because it was just kind. She didn't even ask for anything, did she? She was just like, yeah, I'll have these. AMBR. So that's always nice. Anyway, this is the last vlog clip of the day, or last official one. There might be some like grainy ass footage of like lips it in a bundle on my phone. Standard. Just kidding, we're all sensible these days. What I'm saying is, it's been a sick day. Cheers to Rob Lips at doing bits. Thank you. Cheers to Elder Bro. <clears throat> Cheers to everyone. We'll see you soon. So regal, this gaff, mate. Look at these chairs, man. That's it. How are you feeling, bro? I'm feeling great. I'm still buzzing. That's I feel your, my heart is full. That's your default answer, though. You could have a leg hanging off and say, I'm feeling great. That, that's true. That's <laughs> true. You said, keep telling yourself that, Rob. Boosted with a hint of ginger and vitamins to brighten your day. Apple, pear, cucumber. Orange and blue. Red orange. like an advert, man. <laughs> Boosted with a hint of vitamins. Sponsored by Innocent Ireland. <laughs> um, is yeah, your, does yours brighten your day as well? Because mine says mine does. Mine's... Oh, it does, yeah. That's sick, oh my god. Okay, that's, that's a good start. <laughs> I get enough ones that don't want to be on different levels. This is orange and blood orange. Boosted with... Asa... Asa... I can't even read it. Something cherries. Some and shit. vitamins to brighten your day. Alright, sweet. Drink it. Tell me if it's good. Oh, it's amazing. Is it? Yeah, yeah. it's kind of like. Actually, that's kind of what I've I never had blood is. orange before, actually. It's kind of like orange meets yeah, watermelon. Yeah, blood orange is like uh, what? Um, Greek fruity. As good. I think a green one's better. This clip of you two drinking is going on long mm. enough. Yeah. Carrot! It was in Neil 7. You're like, so could I have a carrot from Neil 7? <laughs> oh, right, yeah, yeah. No, it was just. I don't know what. It wasn't a particular accent. It was just like a. Designed to be like a dumb one, you know, people ask you some Yeah, it was questions. like a dumb like, quiz. Yeah, like, you're eating that carrot, but what number of meals is this? And what would you eat it with? You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like me and Mike were saying there, yo, obviously that infamous time when I beat them. Alright, so when Rob's pretending to be a sick chef on YouTube, this is the reality of it, man. Takes about five goals, to be honest. <laughs> this is usually what I come yeah. out with. Whoa, <laughs> Chef lips it, go child or go home. Yeah, the hostess with the most as well. Carcinogens for days. <laughs> Pre-gym fashion shows, man. Yeah. Just get ready. I kind of love it, to be honest. Is that weird? Alright, people, we've got... Wow, it's bad filming over here because you look like the palest human on planet Earth. Alright, we got some epic... Monster Summit. Monsters courtesy of Rob Lipset and Body First. Yeah. So shout out to those guys. Purple. I'm on blue, trying blue. out for the first time. This is rare and exotic. Rob is on. Ultra black. This one. Pur purple. Ultra, Ultra black. black one. So let's do this fucking shit. Wait. Get a good grip on it first. You don't want to fuck it up. Yep. Okay, hold on, wait. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Basic boomerang. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, today, you know, woke up decent time. I don't feel in bits. <laughs> Get in the session now. Whole <laughs> town started doing it and they couldn't stop. It's crazy, like. People, we are at Raw Gym. Sandyford? Yes, that's the Sandyford, one. mate, I know. I know, double night at the back of my hand. Yeah. I'm gonna go hit a. A, a, I haven't trained in three days workout. That's literally just, it. Just random bits, man. I'm gonna do some, like, whatever is the most aesthetic exercise, so like pushes and stuff. We're going to train everything, Joe. Everything. I'm following Mike today. Stay with me, man. I'll take you to the promised land. <laughs> <laughs> We're in the belt bench. Just in case, man. Just in case, man. Saves you first, kids. Exactly. Because you're not even tied on. Just to keep that roid going to control, man. Tight. 
Nice. Yeah. Been practicing. Solid. Got it. Game. For a not bad for, not bad for a heavy night, man. Yeah. <laughs> what the? Here. Thanks. There you go. Not bad, then. <sighs> nice as you man. Yeah. Workout food time. It's the buzz, right? We haven't eaten a vegetable in uh, too long since yeah, my I can't remember the last one. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna load up on it here. I think they even have your favorite beetroot somewhere. The uh, teriyaki chicken. We got an animal in the building. I, does anyone else like burnt things? It's like burnt and then cold. Yeah, it's like, like eight hours, man. <laughs> it's an acquired taste. Yeah. <sighs> did you even get me eating my burnt turkey burger? I think burger? I did get you eating the burnt turkey okay. burger, but then I think it stopped and I don't know. Anyway, I just thought I was recording, but I wasn't. Key point is look at this shit. Looks great. It's just a fuckload of greenery that's going to make me superhuman, or at least make me back to like. Ah, human. <laughs> At least it, take me from subhuman. It's not a protein bar. No, it, yeah, basically it's something that's not a protein bar, so we're gonna eat and just revive and do laptop club. This is like edgy, we all have Max work from home. Made it vibes. Be cool in 2017 vibe. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> mm, that vegetable. You don't have to do that. Look how sophisticated I look in these glasses, man. Man, with that like fingers. long wavy quiff, mate. I look like a weirdo, mate. I like I've got people in my basement now. It's just do. strapped to a radiator. Well, mate. It's like your name is Joseph. Begging for release, man. <laughs> anyway, we're going to Nando's, guys. We'll see you there. <laughs> so it's like the thing is closer to this one, but yeah. it's further away from this one. It's so like, when has it been most evened out? It's, it's like a yeah. chart, and when's the average? Yeah, the yeah, highest? Yeah. You could be extreme in one, but yeah. then the others will suffer. Yeah, yeah, so you, you have know. to take every aspect. I, don't, I, I wouldn't like a balance, man. I'd like to be fucking sick at one thing and then like, <laughs> to shit at one, one thing at a time. Period. Yeah, 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 the yeah, sickness. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright fellas and girls, I think this is a, a good place to check out because we're just going to get heavily involved in this that knows. I'm going to face ban that very soon. Sorry I didn't wait for anyone. Don't worry, don't worry man. Man is making man. 
Anyway, me and Mike are up early because we got to fly back to Manchester and then I'm going to be going straight down to London pretty much. We'll be meeting back up with Rob and Nabil and Marine and I'm sure you'll see everything in the next vlog. So, big shout out to Rob for having us over. He's actually a fitness YouTuber and I will link this channel in the description. Thanks, I really appreciate that. If you didn't know. Um, shout out to Dublin fam, being welcomed as ever. Peace. Jordan Lenny is my hero!